hello everyone welcome back to code arena and today we are gonna make this huge my social media platforms by just html and css no javascript is required in it so if i click to twitter then my twitter will be opened if i will click youtube my youtube channel will be opened if i click my blog so my blog will be open and if i click buy me a coffee so my buy me a coffee platform will be opened this is my blog and this is my buy me a coffee okay so first of all we'll close all of these and let's get started so first i have made a folder of buttons and inside it i've made two files index.html and styles.css so first we'll make a boilerplate with html and first we will give the title to buttons so basically this video is about buttons and links so you will learn a lot of html and a lot of css in this video so without wasting any time let's continue so this is the title and secondly we will link to styles.css and then we will go live okay now in this body we will add a link to it okay so let's write a tag and we are having the href and first i want my twitter to be open right so i will paste my twitter link in it and inside this a tag i will write a button tag in it and inside this button tag i will give a class to btn and after it i will leave a space in it and i will write twitter in it so basically this btn will be written in all the buttons in all four buttons so that all the buttons would be styled in a same way right so now inside this button i will just write my twitter so this will be the text in it okay this twitter let's save this and see the result see we are having a little small button in it if i will click this so my twitter account will be automatically open but there is a condition if i will click in it so this will open in the same tab but i want it to be open in a new tab we will just do after the strings we will write here target underscore blank okay i know it's a weird name but we need to accept it let's do this so my twitter account is opening in the other tab okay so we are completely done with our twitter now we will just copy this and we will paste it here and then i will just remove this this will be all same but the twitter will be closed and let's see what's next so we are having youtube in the next one okay so i will just write here youtube and then i will paste my youtube link done okay after pasting the youtube link we will write here youtube let's save this okay see we are having two buttons and this will also open in the new tab now we will just paste it again let's copy this and next we are having the blog so firstly i will close this now i will paste my blogs link okay now inside this btn i will write blog okay and now the text would be also blog save this and see the result okay we are having three buttons now i will copy this again and we will paste it in here and this is the last one we will just close this and now we are having buy me a coffee now i will paste my buy me a coffee link and inside this btn i will write here just coffee okay and inside this i will write buy me a coffee okay let's save this so this will be a long button okay we are having four buttons with us now it's time to style them which is the main thing so firstly we will style the background color which is we'll just target the body and first we will do background to linear gradient and inside this linear gradient we will write let's say plum let's say comma and then thistil and then light blue so this will be a good gradient which we want 
okay we are having so much separation in it so we will just do min height to 100 vh so basically min height means minimum height so this will be settled in our whole page you just see the gradient how beautiful it is and now the main thing which is the heading we are left with our heading so first i will do h1 and inside this i will write my social media and we will just put a small heart in it so basically this little heart is coming from the windows plus dot okay let's save this we are having a little heading but we will make it huge okay after the min height we will do margin top let's do 450 pixels and then we will save this okay now we will do margin left for let's say 500 pixels because we want it in the center okay it's nice now the main thing which is the heading so let's target h1 and inside it we will do font size because we want a proper font size so let's say 50 pixels and save this okay let's do 60 pixels this would be in a nice way okay it's looking so nice and then the main thing which is the font family so i have already found a proper font family for it so this is the bungee in line so you can find it on google fonts easily so basically i love this font and i am using it for the first time so i will just copy the link and paste it in our head section and then i will copy the css link and i will just paste it in our h1 tag so let's paste it in here and save this and see the result see we are having a perfect match which i want it to be and then i will set the color i think we should change some shade for it so this shade would match let's save this i think it's nice we are perfectly done with our heading now we will set the margin for zero so basically this heading would also cover the remaining sides so we don't want that because we want the buttons to be styled also so now we will style the buttons which is the btn here let's target the btn and inside this btn first we will set the width for all the buttons so let's say 500 pixels and uh, okay i think it's nice now we will set the padding for it okay so padding would be 20 pixels because it's the average one nice now we will do the font weight to be bold let's save this it's nice we will do border radius to let's say 15 pixels let's save this okay it's nice now we will set the font size which is the main thing so let's set for 20 pixels okay it's nice and then we will do the main thing which is the background color to be black let's save this okay so this is not visible for us but we will make it visible then we will target our first button which is the twitter and then i will set the border for three pixels solid for aqua because uh, twitter is like blue color but blue color is so dark in it okay we are having a proper border color for it and then i will add the color for the same which is aqua see we are having this twitter color okay so i think we will be needing some space between all the buttons so we can have margin top for 25 pixels would work for margin top so all the buttons have a space between them see this my and all the buttons are in the same line so we don't want that right so we will do margin left for 50 pixels let's save this see now these all things are in center after the margin left we will do the basic thing for attraction 
so we will do box shadow for 7 pixels for the x axis 7 pixels for the y axis and we will do 15 pixels for the blur and we will do aqua color let's save this so let's see okay we are having a proper and aesthetic look for the buttons after twitter i will target the youtube and inside this youtube i will just copy these three things because it, it is same only but we will just change the basic color for it like youtube has red color in it so we will just change the colors for red let's save this see we are having the aesthetic look again and after this i will target our blog and inside this i will just paste it in again and blog would be having let's see what is the color for blog we are having light green color okay so we will just do light green for it paste this and paste this let's see okay cool now we will target our coffee and inside it we will pay we will just copy this again and we will paste it in here let's do this and paste it in here and paste it in here let's save this okay we are perfectly done with it now the cursor is not pointed so we will just write here cursor to be pointer so it will be like this see okay now let's try it if it is a proper one or not let's see see the twitter is opening very quickly and we are having our youtube make sure to subscribe my youtube and follow my twitter and then we are having my blog and after that we are having buy me a coffee so this is my blog see you can read my blogs and understand about them so i've written many things about it i have written 20 articles and more are coming soon we are having the buy me a coffee and that's it guys if you like my video then share it with your friends if you make it then post it on twitter my twitter account is in the description my blog is also is in the description and this is code arena official thank you so much for watching